Hello guys and welcome back to Persona 3 Reload. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we learned a bit more about the past of the Carijo group, and it wasn't anything too pretty. However, we do have confirmation that if we defeat all 12 shadows, the Dark Hour will come to an end. So that's great, because obviously the Dark Hour is seemingly turning into turning people into these weird goop monsters and giving them apathy syndrome and stuff like that. So it's going to be nice to finally uh, have that finished up. Let me go ahead and see if I can talk to Mitsuru and Yukari. My apologies. Yes, okay. I've caused trouble for you too. I think I would prefer to be alone at the moment. Perhaps you should study. I'm about to review my own notes now. It helps you take your mind off things. Sorry. Oh, you can use hand phase through the door right there. Sorry, I just don't feel like talking to anyone right now. Anyway, I have homework, so... It's interesting seeing how Yukari's fears with Mitsu weren't exactly unfounded. Her family does have some part to play in this whole Dark Hour thing. And she was, like, hiding that from us. Although, it's obviously not her fault that that happened. That was all her grandfather's doing. I mean, ten years ago, she was, what, eight? I'm not going to blame her for uh, her grandfather conducting these weird experiments and ruining the world. Maybe we shouldn't go to Tartarus tonight. Junpei-kun asked me to go over what we talked about in the meeting. Mm. But if we defeat all 12 shadows, I won't be able to use my persona anymore. Man, it's such an amazing power. I can't just let it go to waste. Hey. Well, aren't you calm? Must be because you're a fantastic leader who can do anything, huh? No matter what happens, you can handle it all by yourself. Isn't that right? <laughs> Wish nobody like me could like could be like that. Junpei Kun, are you listening? The only thing that anyone knows about Tartarus is that it creates shadows. Other than that, we're all in the dark. <sighs> I'm sorry about everything. Let me know if there's anything I can say to be of help. Let's uh, go through all of these. What are the twelve shadows? Special shadows that appear on full moons. They are the product of a research accident ten years ago. In the incident, an experimental entity comprised of numerous shadows was split once more into twelve large pieces. As such, their power far exceeds those found in Tartarus. Tread with appropriate caution. Yes. How'd the public take it? In the end, over fifty people were injured in that accident. The media placed full blame on the Carijo group for the tragedy. They singled out the researcher, one researcher in particular, declaring him the main culprit behind it all. Whether it was actually all his fault or not was not the issue. The public was looking for someone to vent their pain and anger on, so they chose him, even though he was a victim himself. Their wrath was unparalleled. It was almost more frightening than seeing a horde of shadows. What happened with Mitsuru? Under the pretense of assisting the benefit of the group, she was subjected to experiments on her own persona for many years, solving the mystery behind the unknown ability of personas, the development of various equipment beginning with the Evoker. None of this would have been possible without her cooperation. There must have been some dangerous experiments at times too, and yet she kept agreeing to it all, I'm told. Yes. He and Kirijo-kun have known each other for a very long time. Sanada-kun joined us when he was only in middle school. At the time, he we had a third member as well. But I digress. So, very interesting thing here. Uh, Mitsuru was subjected to experiments to figure out what the hell personas were. Because pretty much no one knows what a persona was. I mean, they were kept pretty secret. I mean, they were pretty much kind of kept secret in the first two games, so it makes sense that it wasn't like a widespread thing that everyone knew about. Uh, and this was 1999, which was, which canonically takes place before Persona 2 Eternal Punishment. So, yeah, Personas just kind of weren't a thing at the time. They are only, like, something that was just happening in the, uh, to people across the globe. It's very weird how there are, like, five different ways that personas have come to be because we have all the stuff in the original trilogy and then we have tartarus in the dark hour in uh persona 3 and then we have the stuff in persona 4 and then the stuff in persona 5. it's very interesting seeing all of these different or origins for pretty much the same thing another cool detail to mention is that uh each of us each of the members of seas have an armband that has a number on it 
and Makoto Yuki's is three, and I believe that I remember reading somewhere that the number is based on what order you awake you awakened your personas in. So I think Yukari and Junpei would be numbers four and five. Um, and Mitsuru, I think, is zero because she awakened to hers uh, way back in 1999 before, you know, they started recruiting for C's and stuff like that. I forget if Sonata is one or two, but the point is there is a secret third member that we uh, don't really know about at this point who was uh, also a part of C's but seemingly left at some point for whatever reason. So yeah, we'll get into all of this as the game continues to progress. Uh, we're gonna use the school excite note, but first I realized that I forgot to go to, um, Club Escapade. And also, I can actually go talk to Tanaka right now, because our charm is up, and also there's something else that I need to give him that will help start our social link. My, aren't you handsome? Can I interest you in being part of a promotional, ca promotional campaign I'm running? Oh, you're still in high school? Hmm, that would mean perhaps if I trained him. Man seems to be mumbling to himself. Charm caught his attention. Say, young man, how would you like to have all your dreams come true? Well, I do have a golden opportunity for you. Tell me more. <laughs> now, this stays between us, so don't go telling anyone, okay? I can make you rich, 100% guaranteed. All you need is 20,000 yen, and your investment will multiply by 10. No, by 100. And the best part is, you don't even have to lift a finger. You'll become fabulously wealthy overnight. Just give me the 20,000 yen and I'll take care of the rest. Well, what do you say? Okay. Give the man 20,000 yen. Bye bye. Bye bye. That'll do. I'll be in touch once your fortune has been made. So yeah, we give him 20,000 yen and we don't really get anything back for it, but we'll probably start the social link at some point. Alright, URL man. Give me some stuff. Security site note. A note with a URL of a site featuring videos of on taking down enemies. Oh, I think this is actually a really good one. Also have our revenge site note, so I'll go ahead and grab that real quick. And I think there are also some URLs that we could buy at the Net Cafe, so I'll stop by there real quick, buy some of those. And we'll spend kind of the next uh, few weeks, you know, just going through all of those. Of course, we'll still need to raise our charm, but uh, I have a feeling we'll be able to juggle that with all of the URLs. Yep, we bought all of those. We still have 30,000 yen left, so I don't really need to worry about money at this point. Um, by the time I do run out of money, we'll be going back to Tartarus again, so I don't need to panic. All right. School X, site note. I wonder what school it could possibly be. Let me see what the URL leads to. Moonlight Channel looks like an unofficial forum for GeckoCon High. Moonlight Channel. Very funny, because Moonlight is something you obviously associate with Persona 3, but Channel is something that I associate more with Persona 4, and if you've played that game, you'll know why. Topics include things like third years only and who do you think is hot. Seems like the newest topic is... Anyone try the taiyaki at the school store? I'll take a look at this. a a a a a a a a says, Never seen this on sale, why is there such a limited amount? Sardine says, I saw someone complain to the vendor about this. Beta ugh, says, Good news, the taiyaki is going to be a permanent item now. I asked about it and apparently there were a lot of requests for it. Sounds like they'll have it in stock daily now. Tennis Lover says, wait, so we can seriously get get it when Evs now? I wonder if Tennis Lover is Rio from from Kotone's route in Persona 3 Portable. Oda Nobunaga says, I'ma get one. Seems like a special Taiyaki will be available at the school store. Maybe I should take a look next time I'm there. I wonder if there are any like Easter eggs and stuff like that in the various names that you see on the school forums, because knowing these games, there are probably there are probably a lot of references that I'm just not getting. Lounging about as usual, huh? Hmm? You. What do you want? 
If you're gonna ask me to go back, the answer's still no. That's not why I'm here. I was just making sure you were still around. That's so. We've known each other a long time. It's been almost 14 years since we met at the orphanage. You, me, and Miki. We used to run around here until the sun went down. Back then, it seemed like we had all the time in the world. <laughs> you haven't changed one bit. If you want to get all sappy, go do it with your other pals. What was that? It's rare for you to think about the past. Usually, you just charge ahead like a damn fool. You've never been good at hiding shit. Everyone thinks about the past. Even me. Anyway... We finally know how to get rid of Tartarus in the Dark Hour. No shit? Yeah. The thing is... All I've cared about until now is getting stronger. Everything else came second. But yesterday... Someone made me question my reason for fighting. Your reason for fighting? Huh. It's different for everyone. But if you don't have a good one, you can always quit. That's what I did. I'm not like you. <laughs> Man, you can't believe I'm the one getting lectured here. <laughs> well, see you around. Hmm. You really haven't changed at all. talk to you for a moment. Senpai? This is unusual. Please, come in! So not only do you excel at providing support during battle, you are also quite skilled at gathering information. Oh, I I'm sorry for doing that without permission. Don't worry, you're not in trouble. But I do have an important favor to ask of you. I want you to find out as much as you can about that incident ten years ago. Oh, well, very little of that was made public. I know. That's why I want you to access the Kirijo Group's database. You mean, hack into their system? Is that allowed? I'll give you my ID and password. Then you won't be held accountable. But I need to know the truth. In detail. Senpai. Of course, I'll understand if you refuse. Okay, I'll see what I can do. Are you sure? I appreciate it. Yamagishi, aren't you resentful? Regardless of my good intentions, I did drag you into this without fully explaining. I'm sure you must have at least a few complaints. Not really. Did you know my entire family is made up of doctors? My parents are the one exception. It gives them a bit of an inferiority complex. That's why they're so hard on me. I don't like being at home. But here, I'm able to do something no one else can. I have a purpose. So no, I don't have any complaints. You're right. We can't do this without you. No one could take your place. Oh! Thank you. I'll see you later. So, Tartarus and the Dark Hour are on the way out, huh? <laughs> no, that's a good thing. That's what we've been fighting for. So then... Why... Damn it! Why am I so pissed? Gosh, it's hot. Even for July. I can't believe we're already third years. Guess this will be the last time we'll wear these uniforms and hang out after school. <sighs> who cares? I just want to get into college and start having fun already. <laughs> I get it. My problem is me. I'm going on like fighting was my duty and all. Actually, it's just all I'm good at. Because without that, 
about that? I'm nothing. <laughs> so much for being a hero. I can't fight worth the shit anyway. Not compared to him, at least. Damn it! Nothing I do is good enough. Why am I only ever right about the worst things? Am I stupid for trusting in something so blindly? Dad, I got this letter from you last spring. I must have read it a thousand times since then. To my family, ten years into the future. Tomorrow, I'll bring this letter to the opening ceremony for the Moonlight Bridge. It will be stored in a time capsule and sent to you in ten years' time, Yukari. You may be small now, but in ten years, you'll be sixteen. You'll be in high school. I know you've been sad because I have to work so late, but you always manage to greet me with a smile. I'm really proud of myself. Kirijo-san appointed me head researcher. I'll be starting on a big project soon. It feels good to receive so much recognition for my work, but I swear to you, nothing is more important to me than you and your mother. Oh, Dad. Yukari, I wonder, are you enjoying life? Do you have high hopes for the future? Do you still look towards tomorrow with excitement and wonder, like you do now? No matter what happens in the next ten years, I hope you're happy. And I hope this letter brings a smile to both you and your mother's faces. Eiichiro Takeba, March 6th, 2000. No matter what happens, huh? All I can do is believe. <laughs> I won't turn my back. I won't be like Mom. Not ever. Alright, a few things. First of all, gosh, everyone is just depressed. Like, life is sucking for everyone at the moment. Second of all, Tanaka's on air. Max safety shoes, that's the thing we needed for Elizabeth. Third of all, uh, Yukari's dad is voiced by, um, by Yuri Lowenthal. And of course, he's a very prominent voice actor. He voiced the protagonist in the original Persona 3, and he voiced Yosuke in Persona 4, so. We've heard his voice quite a few times up to this point, but this is the first major character he's, uh, the first major character that he's voiced in this game, at least. Another thing that I want to mention is that for some reason, this game is really weird with dates. I mentioned previous episode that I'm a real stickler for timelines and stuff like that, so I'm always like, oh, this date doesn't match up with this, or, um, you know, I like seeing how things progress chronologically, but you don't even need to be a timeline person. I think everyone, like, is can be weirded out by the fact that this game takes place in 2009. The, ac the incident happened 10 years ago. 2009 minus 10 is 1999. Okay, got that. But the letter that Yukari got is from March of 2000, and that would be nine years ago. And that letter would have had to have been sent a year after the accident happened, which is impossible. And also, it doesn't make sense because the letter said that in 10 years, Yukari would be 16, and she received the letter in spring. And that makes sense, because in spring of 2009, she was 16. But if the letter thinks that the letter is being sent in spring of 2010, which is 10 years after 2000, she would be 17 by that point. So f for some reason, they have two years that they have to reference, and somehow they got one of them wrong. Anyways, again, not that big of a deal. If I ever sound like I'm genuinely mad at some stuff like that, know that I'm not. I'm just bad at, you know, portraying what I'm thinking through my tone of voice, so apologies for that. I'm never, like, genuinely furious at anything like that. I might just be a bit too animated when expressing stuff that weirds me out. Anyways, 
Here you go, kitty. Seems to have regained all its energy by eating the cat food. I think it'll be okay without me having to feed it anymore. So now, we can talk to Elizabeth again. I see you've successfully fed the hungry cat. Thank you. I can feel relief in the very cockles of my heart. I hope it prospers forever and ever. Please take this as your reward. Male summer garb. Not entirely sure what that looks like, but next time we go to Tartarus, I'll be sure to check it out. Oh. Oh, we could actually hang out with Elizabeth again. Sweet. Certain area known as Iwatodai. If you have the time, then please come fetch me so long as the sun is out. My, I've been waiting for you to ask. Shall we be on our way? <sighs> Flowing stairs that pose an obstacle to those who dare to reach another floor. So, this is an escalator. A simple contraption at first glance. But one false step will leave one mired in an exhausting ordeal. To all customers, for your own safety and the safety of others, please do not move in the opposite direction of the escalators. Thank you. Oh my. It seems that these customers may come to harm. We'd best exercise caution ourselves. And what is this? Please watch your step. There is a pitfall just ahead. Where is it? Why, it's right over here. There, in the center of this fenced off area, it's marked with eye catching signs proclaiming in bold print do not enter. Humans are frequently drawn to what has been forbidden. This is a crafty snare, one that defies the common notion that pitfalls must be hidden. Flowing stairways, pitfalls employing high-level psychological tactics. Human authorities truly go to great lengths in their quest to preserve the town's law and order. I'm very moved by their dedication to the cause. Let us carry on. Our thoughts with the unsung heroes who give their love and lives to this town. Oh, this tantalizing fragrance. Can it be? Whoa, you can figure out our secret ingredient with just a whiff? I guess you got a funky sense of smell to go with your funky sense of style, lady. Well, there ain't a law saying takoyaki shops can't cook other stuff besides octopus. So, how about it? Wanna buy some? I swear my takoyaki's so good it'll make your jaw drop. Cuisine so scrumptious that one's jaw can drop off? I imagine that would warrant urgent medical care, realistically speaking. But I would very much like a taste. Unfortunately, this is all I have on me at the moment. I do hope this is sufficient. It's not that expensive. No need to console me. My curiosity far exceeds any monetary. Oh, I see. Upon closer inspection, a single serving is only 400 yen. <sighs> well, well then, two orders of your finest takoyaki, please. Thanks. Here you go, and come again. This distinct texture, the firm, chewy skin, there's no doubt about it. I must say, I'm surprised to see this used as a cooking ingredient. How's your jaw? It has yet to even unhinge. But for the better, I suppose. There are many other delicacies I must try. It wouldn't do to lose my jaw before sampling each and every one of them. There appear to be several dining establishments around here. We must simply visit all of them. My first priority is to go to something called a net cafe, where one may use something called a soda fountain. This apparatus allows for an infinite combination of flavors by mixing various solutions. Just thinking about it gives me a sort of electric tingle across my tongue. 
Ah, I see. My, oh my. Oh, how intriguing. We appear to have exhausted every dining option in this area. Oh dear, is something the matter? Now that I think about it, you haven't eaten much since our seventh meal. In any event, I must thank you for your delightful company. I shall certainly savor this experience. If you don't mind, I'd very much appreciate it if you were to escort me again sometime. I return to the Velvet Room with Elizabeth. That might be the most emotion I've seen on Makoto Yuki's face this entire game. Thank you for earlier. Now then, how may I be of assistance? Here are my wonderful... It seems you've completed a request. One moment, please, while I check. Thank you for showing me around Iwatodai Station. The fascinating rides, the dangerous traps, and of course, the cornucopia of curious cuisine. Marvelous. The way people went about their lives there was quite different from those we saw previously at Polonia Mall. So that, so that I might not forget what we saw, I'd like to recreate some of the dishes we sampled. <laughs> First, I must hunt for ingredients. <laughs> this will be so much fun. Please take this as your reward. Book of the Ancients. Thoth. Makes me sound like I have a lisp. Alrighty, so I think we'll go ahead and um, end off the video here. And in the next episode, we're gonna hang out with Maya again. I know it's been quite a while since we've seen her. Uh, so we're gonna hang out with her, see how the plot progresses in her social link. I forget where we even are with her. Uh, rank five, halfway there. All right, we'll see how the second half of her social link plays out in the next episode. Well, not in the entire second half, but you know what I, you know what I mean. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.